Hello, we are here at Denago today to do a video installation of the Denago City One model bike. This process will be the same for step through or top two models. First step is to establish a work area. Next, unbox the bike and remove. Stabilize the bike on the floor with the rear wheel packaging. Next, remove all the packaging. You will need scissors, cable cutters, or a knife to help in this process. Now it's time to unpack the small parts box. You will find all the parts and tools needed to do the assembly, as well as the quick start guide, a printed version of this video. Let's get started. Remove the top cap bolt and the cardboard sleeve. Next, step over and stand in the middle of your bike. Place the stem on the steer tube. Note the bolt is already inside the stem. Place over the steer tube, tighten using your Denago 5mm multi-tool. Next, secure and tighten the two bolts under the stem. This is the front end alignment. Following, adjust the angle position of your handlebars. Loosen slightly the four front bolts and adjust the, the bar angle, keeping it center and evenly secure and tighten the four bolts at your desired riding position. Use the logo and markings to help. Next, install the small black plug that was included in your small parts box. The next step is the monitor installation. Remove the bolts and place the clamp on either side of the stem. Return and secure the bolts to the monitor. It is encouraged to leave this slightly loose so you can adjust the angle for best visibility. Next, install the front reflector onto the handlebar. Open the clamp, insert the screw and tighten. Adjust for visibility. Step 2. Remove the black plastic disc on the front wheel. Note, sometimes the front axle nut gets stuck in here. If missing, look here first. Next, remove the yellow front disc block. Do not squeeze the lever as this could cause the brakes to misalign. Remove the black block in between the fork blades. Grab your front wheel, lift the front end of the bike, and slide the wheel while lowering the bike and fork onto the wheel aligning the axle and dropouts, making sure the washers are on the outside of the fork blade. Secure and tighten the axle nuts using your Denago wrench. Place the kickstand down so the bike is stable. Step three, seat and seat post adjustment. Open the seat clamp and remove the seat. Grab the small pouch of grease that came in the small parts box and open. Apply a small amount of grease inside the seat tube. Insert the seat to ensure it always is inserted below the minimum insertion mark. Secure the quick release seat clamp. Add rear reflector to seat post. Step 4. Pedal Assembly Grab your pedals from the small parts box. Apply grease to the threads. Each pedal in each side of the crank is marked with a matching sticker. Grab the R pedal and go to the right side or drive side. The right side pedal threads on clockwise or traditional threading. Secure and tighten with Denago pedal wrench. Grab the L pedal and go to the left side, the non-drive side of your bike. The left side pedal threads on counterclockwise, then hold pedal and spin crank backwards. Secure and tighten with the Denago pedal wrench. Remove the key and secure in a safe place. The key is only used to remove the battery. Next, do a full safety inspection as highlighted in the back of your quick start guide. Spin the front wheel, spin the rear wheel, check all the bolts 
to make sure they're secure and tightened. Make sure your battery is fully charged and enjoy the ride.